Tool. This is the baby spike axe. Man, look at that little guy. That is one mean little axe. I have been using it lately. I was able to get it out a few times, and I had a really, had a really good time with it. So, before I jump in and all that, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the sheath, the uh, some specifications about the spike axe itself, and then just have a, just a quick discussion about uh, about how I feel about it. And just you know, a little more information, uh, you know, uh, going in that direction. So uh, first off is uh, I actually, I really like this sheath. It uh, seems very well made. Uh, the stitching is done. Uh, it's it, very well. It's held in uh, uh, great so far because uh, <laughs> I can't say for the same for uh, other like not, uh, other like tomahawks and and uh, other such tools like that, like the Sog Fast Hawk. Uh, that sheath was pretty much uh, par above garbage that I got. Uh, that just about fell apart uh, about the second time I took it out and used it. But this one seems pretty uh, pretty awesome so far. It It's uh, leather. It has this nice uh, swivel belt loop on there. It's like a split uh, loop on that. So, you know, that there's uh, some options with that. And uh, it's it's been pretty neat. It fits the, the uh, axe here very well. It's pretty low profile for it being leather. Uh, easy to use the snap. Uh, works great, at, and because sometimes you'll have issues with something like that. And uh, like I said, I, I actually have a really good feel with this. And what's really neat is uh, even when I, I slide this uh, axe down in the sheath here, I can tuck it through the whole thing through my belt without even I don't even use this loop all that often because it's just it's very I find it very comfortable to do it like that uh, without even using the belt loop. So yeah, so I mean I give this a uh, a thumbs up, you know, two thumbs up. It's really, man, really nice for what you get. Like I said, it's really, it's just, it's nice being the low profile on there. So, so that's how I feel about the sheath. Uh, I like it. Now, the actual um, axe here. So, pretty a wicked profile on there. Like I was saying, you know, nice little spike. And uh, some of the, so the, some of the material specs on this, it is American hickory handle. It's uh, got a good sort of light weight to it, uh, very durable uh, wood, so very impressed with that. It is 440C uh, stainless steel from El Salvador, uh, which, is, which is fine. I've had pretty good luck with uh, steel from that area. It seems to hold an edge uh, very well. It's almost similar, the way they've finished it, it almost gives it a carbon steel finish look, uh, the way, you know, the forge finish on there, so it looks, it looks good, you know, that's uh, much more, you know, you got your protection from rust uh, with that, and plus being the stainless steel, uh, you're not going to have an issue, uh, you know, being out with this. They put the lanyard hole at a really good point. They did a really good job of uh, smoothing uh, that out, and they, and it's just a very, like, a wide, um, awesome, just uh, really good lanyard setup on there. You don't see that a whole lot, and, and the way they have the handle tapered off at that angle there, 
is also uh, very nice. It, it, it makes it uh, much easier to slide in and out of uh, the sheath, much, much easier. So that, that's, uh, that's something you don't see a lot either. So, you know, you lose a little bit of, if you, you know, you did have to, have to fight with this, um, you lose a little bit of your striking area there, but that angle is, is pretty nice actually. And it's very smooth here on the end, very comfortable, and like I've said before, it's very ergonomical handle. It fits the hand so well, and put your the chopping edge uh, is 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 slightly tilted uh, downward when you're chopping. So uh, it there, you're driving a lot of energy down with this little hand axe. So it's it's very exceptional when it comes uh, to that to what it's uh, meant to do. And uh, like some specification about the size, it's overall about a foot uh, long. So it's pretty compact, really compact actually, which is really nice. And uh, the, the handle's very ergonomical, fits, uh, fits my hand very well. And actually the uh, overall length of the blade, it's, it's five inches from uh, the blade to the end of the spike. Uh, the width of the cutting edge is about uh, three inches. And the, the spike here is about one and a half inches long. And uh, it, man, it's very sharp little guy. I'll give you a down, uh, you know, up down look on that overall. So, man, I, I dig it so far. So there's there's some of the specs, and then the attachment on there. It's a is it's like a dual attachment. It's actually uh, drilled through and uh, and tapped with this like basically like a pressure bolt in there. I forget exactly what you call them. So like a, a bolt or bolster, and then it has a wedge in there. And I will go ahead and say the only thing I noticed is. Uh, I've taken this out several times, uh, chopped with it, it it's not awesome. I did notice the wedge did slide out maybe a millimeter or so, but not a big deal. Absolutely no play in that blade, and I hammered with this bad boy uh, pretty hard. So I, that's just something I noticed, thought I'd throw that out there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's held up really well. And uh, now about how, how I, f I feel with this, and uh, you know maybe what I like about it, what I don't like, uh, what I first like, is I like how it looks. It's pretty, pretty mean, pretty sweet looking. Uh, it's it's very sharp. has a really has a good cutting edge. Uh, bites deep, and it's very compact. It's a good size, and I like being able to slide it down into my belt uh, when I'm out. That's really nice. Uh, the only thing that I maybe really don't like is I wish the overall length um, was maybe maybe just a little longer, just so you can maybe get two hands on there. Uh, it's really just not not going to work for me. But, um, with all that being said, it's very compact and very light, and, you know, hey, if, you know, if you change any, any sizing like that, that's going to change it overall. So, you know, you give and you take with something like this, but uh, overall, man, this is really nice for what you get. Uh, condor knives and tools, um, I've, I have never owned one before. This is the first um, item from them or tool I've owned from them, but I've used them, you know, stuff from them before. Really like it. Uh, so far, I mean, for for what what you pay and what you get, I think is a pretty good deal. So yeah, overall, I mean, I'm I'm gonna re recommend this to somebody who you know they take you know light uh, day hikes and maybe you know they just want to do a little light chopping or something while they're out. Uh, this is just something that you can just toss this in a pack easy. It's even smaller than that Sog Fast Hawk. I mean, this is a pretty uh, you know pre pretty nice little ch one handed chopper. So, but that's, uh, that would be my only qualm is, you know, just can't get those two hands on it. So you're going to have that single arm uh, fatigue on there, similar like you would with uh, chopping with uh, like a large blade knife. But that's uh, pretty much all I got on that. So just definitely dig it. I mean, it's pretty pretty nice little, uh, little hand axe there. So thank you so much for watching. It's Mr. Leonidas signing out. I appreciate your time.